All right, so today I'm gonna review this uh, YZ85, which I just bought. So it's this is the first time I've ridden a two-stroke um, 85, and when I, after I bought it, I started looking at like reviews and stuff and seeing what it's like with it's too powerful and everyone's talking about this like power band like everyone's talking about this power band on it like it's how it's crazy and uncontrollable there was this one review I was looking at and this guy's online he's complaining he's like you know it's doing a wheelie in first gear in second gear in third gear like he's complaining about it but then he's kind of saying oh but wheelies are good and to me that's like saying like it's, there's a problem like there's a problem with it you know like it's crazy it's uncontrollable that's that's what he's saying and i started to get a bit nervous about riding it like this is you know my son's like 12 i bought it for him um and i was like sort of nervous about that as well this guy's saying it does uncontrollable wheelies right the thing is though like to actually after riding it to actually that he's saying where it's uncontrollable wheelies you gotta be full on pinning it like you have to be like and and, and it's it's weird it's like he's online saying that there's this problem wow it's uncontrollable it's crazy it's wheeling first second third so like it's a problem and he's not saying, well, you got to be like full on pinning it for it to do that, right? And um, I think some people maybe are just online to boast rather than actually talk about a real problem. And that's kind of a bit annoying. Anyway, so after I started writing it, uh, I realized okay yes there is a power band that kicks in right and that's what gets people the problem with this bike the the yamaha especially it doesn't have a power valve now what a power valve does is it it, it can change the characteristic of the exhaust so it's always running at optimal power it's still as powerful as this you know for the same engine size but it's not abrupt like it's 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 linear um, so this one it doesn't have um, a power valve which means that on the low end um, it's like it's not tuned really and that's why it doesn't it doesn't really go and what what gets people puts people off is um, you know they're going like they're pulling the pulling the throttle nothing 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 and then all of a sudden like it just kicks in and um, that's what so it's not that it's more powerful than the other ones but it's just it's more abrupt it kicks in right away like there's a part where there's no power no power no power and then um, it just sort of comes in so uh, the problem the problem with that I guess for some people who aren't that experienced is uh, if you're not in the right position um, it could like like because it pulls you back you could like i think they call it like whiskey throttle because it pulls you back and it makes you pull the throttle more so like it just you either loop it or you know um and it catches you off guard and the way to overcome that is really just to have a, a forward position always sort of be ready um never keep off guard like if you're doing the throttle don't let it trick you into thinking there's no power just give it a, a second and the power will kick in if you just remember that if you remember if you're doing the throttle you know 20 10 20 percent throttle um, that it will kick in all right you just have to remember that don't don't think oh I'm doing the throttle it's not going don't let that catch you off guard all right if you you're always leaning forward you're always <clears throat> ready for that power to kick in you'll be all right the other thing uh, with this bike in particular when I bought it I didn't I didn't realize that the brakes were not that good so the back brake has got no brake pad on it it's just like metal on metal the whole disc is gone um, and the front is I don't know like there's no power in the brake so I ordered um, 
I ordered like not OEM. I ordered aftermarket um, discs and and pads uh, from Metal Gear. I, I had them on my 636 as well. They were not bad. Um, but well, the problem with this bike is you know you're hitting you're, you're getting into it. You're hitting the power band, uh, and then you realise you've got to slow down. And that, and then with this, the brakes aren't that powerful, so that's kind of what was getting me as well. You know what I mean? It really picks up, uh, really, and and you, uh, maybe you forget like how fast you're going. So that's that's another thing. And so yeah, so like my first my first bike was my Chinese Australian um, Brap. It was a one two five. I was like, I mean, these are all my son, my son's bike is like, it's just, you know, it's kids bikes. Even, even, a, even this 85 is a bit of like, it's, I don't know, it's not a full size bike. Uh, so, so, I mean, that Brap was a 125, was pretty good. Uh, I put like aftermarket Makuni uh, carburetor on it, uh, which they can get stocked by. I mean, Brap, Brap's out of business now anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see there, but it just kicks in, and I'm not even full throttling. Um, and you gotta, you got if you really want to be on the power, you gotta change the gears quick. Then once you're in fourth gear, you know you're going pretty fast, so it accelerates really quick. You just gotta go, you know, power, 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 up, up, you know. Um, first gear, that's when it really kicks in. And then, like, you're having fun, and then you don't realize how fast you're going. That's the problem. That's that's what I found with this bike. Um, and I mean, how hard does it kick? How much does a two-stroke give? Like, I, I, as maybe people who watch my channel, I, I'm not really a dirt bike rider. Like, I ride I ride street bikes, um, and I've had you know fast bike, my Daytona, my R1. Um, and um, I can say that I can have a lot of fun with this with this power band. Like, you know, after riding those street bikes, I can still say that this bike is really like it gives you a bit of excitement. It kicks pretty hard, especially in first gear. So, like, can uh, can you control it if you're in the right position? You know, if it doesn't just sort of pull you like. If you're just sort of sitting forward a bit and you know have a bit of uh, pressure on your on the pegs on the back, you'll be fine. You'll ne you won't have a problem with it. Just don't do it like around corners and stuff because you could lose the back wheel. So I guess the other thing I can say is um, coming from like a two-stroke, uh, coming from like a four-stroke one two five uh, to you know this one now. Like, I don't know, the fuel, I guess, is a bit annoying. You gotta bring fuel with you, you gotta bring the oil, you gotta mix it. Uh, I just sort of mix it there in the... Um, I try not to bring too much fuel if I'm not gonna use it. So, because um, you don't want a two-stroke fuel mix to be sitting too long unused. So, uh, today, I didn't fill up fully. I filled up only three liters of my five liter container. And I think the amount that I ride uh, a day, like when I go up, come out here, uh, maybe if I do one day five liter full up, next day I fill up three liters, and then the third the third time would be uh, the tank will be full, so I wouldn't bring any fuel with me, and I'll just keep going on that cycle. So you might need to like look at how much fuel you're using, and then realize that you know maybe you want to do some different cycles. So obviously going from a uh, Chinese, Australian Chinese dirt bike to a Yamaha, it's much better in terms of parts. So there's a lot of aftermarket parts. Uh, I had to do the front bearing. I'm going to do the front wheel bearings because I noticed it was a bit like there was some movement in there. Uh, and yeah, I've got the service manual. So I'm really happy. It's a really solid bike. Um, Obviously, adults can ride it. I'm like 90 something kilograms, uh, and and it's not even adjusted for me. Like, 
Like, um, if I adjust, I could adjust it, if, I, if it was just me riding it, I could adjust it more for my riding. Um, and you always need to remember with two strokes to bring some extra spark plugs because you might foul a valve, uh, sorry, uh, a foul a spark plug. Uh, that's when you, you know, it becomes too rich, too oily and the, and the spark plug becomes like unusable. And the other thing in general is you gotta watch out like for two strokes, you gotta, you gotta be conscious of the oil going through the engine so if you're sitting there like um, like what I'm doing now which is um, I'm coasting like uh, uh, what do you call it I'm um, engine braking because uh, not, not much fuels coming through the engine uh, you're also not getting much oil in the engine so you're kind of drying the oil out a bit you've got to be conscious of how much oil is running through the system so what you do is you just sort of ride and then when you're coasting just sort of flip it a bit and that's when, um, you know, you're putting some oil through. So you're coming around like this, engine braking, just sort of blip it a bit. So that just keeps the oil running through. And if you're always riding too slow, it becomes too oily. So you just got to be conscious, conscious of all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's uh, my YZ85. Really happy with it. Um, I think I'm happy with two strokes in general. I might continue. I might be, you know, um, won over by the two stroke side of things. Um, they're light, they're powerful, they're a little bit smoky, but you know, so what? So are diesels, you know? So, anyway, uh, if you like this video, please uh, give it a like and uh, make a comment. Uh, if you like my content in general, please subscribe and take it easy and ride safe.